Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I know I am, because today I get to talk about Predecessor. And also a little bit of Overprime, and also a little bit of Fault, but not too much. This is really just a precursor video for a video that will be coming out either uh, next week, might be next Wednesday, or maybe the Wednesday after that. I'm not sure, it depends on how long it ends up taking me to edit. Uh, it's going to be a little bigger, a bit more production. Uh, yeah, a little more effort put into it than what I normally do. So it'll take a little more time. But yeah, hopefully you'll still enjoy it. Uh, yeah, so today is a little bit of a precursor video of why exactly did Predecessor get this 2.2 million funding round as well as the mega grant and everything. Why did Predecessor gain it rather than over Prime or Fall? Uh, that we don't really know for sure. We really don't. It, but that's what I'm going to really go over uh, in the later video next couple of weeks, but this one is just kind of to, to start off, start off and g give you a little idea of what exactly I'm thinking uh, of why they got it compared to Overprime or Fault, which are kind of the big three. I think there's another one called Core uh, that was coming around. I haven't seen as much about that one, though. I think Fault and Overprime, it might be along the same lines as Overprime, but I know Fault is definitely in some bigger production stages as well. So, um, we've seen the closed off of Predecessor. It was pretty good, in my opinion. I really liked it. And personally, I, I saw some comments earlier that said they actually thought it would. It didn't feel as much like Paragon. But uh, from, what I remember, from what I remember, it felt pretty similar to Paragon in speed of gameplay and progression and everything. But everyone experiences games differently. So to other people, maybe there's a, a little bit of a change that they didn't enjoy as much. And that's totally okay. But I thought it felt pretty good. So we've seen their closed alpha, and it looked pretty good. Uh, Over Prime has had some stuff. I'm not quite sure exactly how much. I don't think it's really um, as big in development. Obviously, they've got uh, a decent, like, stuff, uh, a decent start going on, and then you've got, like, here's the preview. Uh, the preview, from what I've seen, I haven't actually played it, uh, but the preview from what I've seen, uh, it's much more fast-paced, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't look quite as much like a MOBA, I mean, I don't know, it reminds me more of like a hero shooter, kind of like Paladins, but like with more MOBA-like aspects than Paladins, but I haven't seen too much on that. But I just know that in terms of development-wise, it looks much earlier than I think some other game, uh, like Fault does or Predecessor does. But I mean, it doesn't look bad, definitely a decent start. But the big one, I think, is Fault. Now, here's the big question. Look at how much development Fault has got. Look at how many characters, uh, how many abilities they have they have going. Uh, like, I'm not sure. I don't think they have quite as many items. But look at how much they've got going on here. Not to mention, they do do a weekly update. That's one thing I wish Predecessor would do. I love a weekly update. Uh, the most they really do is they'll post on their Discord. Uh, they'll post whenever they end up making some kind of bigger uh, like change to a character or something like that. They used to post a lot more, but they haven't really posted quite as much in the recent times. I would love to see a little more, a little more weekly updates uh, from predecessor would be nice because as you can see their blog posts are a little 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 I don't know I don't know what the word I'm looking for is a little empty I guess there's only there's only about four posts maybe three actually no it's only three posts I would love to see some more updates about from them but I mean they got like a, a whole news going on here you can early you can get early access on the game uh, and it looks really far into production and if you ask me it looks further in production than predecessor I have seen gameplay on Fall. I haven't played it because obviously to get into the early access you have to buy it. And I don't exactly have the funds to do so right now. But um, it looks further in development. So why did Predecessor get it rather than Fall? Uh, like I said, I'll be mainly covering that in the later video. But the gist of what I'm thinking is, first off, Predecessor, although having less uh, out in development... I think it's a little cleaner, and it has a bit of a more solid foundation uh, in terms of just uh, just in terms of uh, like how the characters feel, how the game progresses, uh, the map, the minions, stuff like that. Seems a little bit further in development than Fault. Um, I also think that Predecessor might have something that we don't know about. I'm guessing that they probably have a good bit more developed than what we actually know of because the closed alpha is was longer ago than what you think. 
it, w- it was a good bit ago. I think they've developed quite a bit because this is a more recent development, them getting this grant and the Epic Games thing. That only happened uh, like a month ago, a little more than a month ago. So I think that they've gotten a lot more done than what uh, they're letting on to. And they showed EA that, and they showed some some investors that that we haven't got to see, and that's what they kind of got like a, an ace up their sleeve. That's the big difference I think that's between Fault because Fault, if you're if you ask me, it seems like because Fault's already in early access. So if you ask me, I think Fault every update they get, everyone gets to see pretty much once it happens because they're just putting putting it into the game once it comes out, and then you can just play it if you have early access. Whereas predecessor is still in the closed alpha stages of the game, hopefully soon some kind of beta, uh, maybe open or maybe still closed, but just another beta in general that will give us some progress. But so still in the earlier stage of that gameplay, so we don't really get to see every update they make and all the development they're putting into the game. So I think they've got some really big stuff planned that they showed EA and that they showed uh, some investors, and that's what is really setting them apart. And we're not sure what it is. But yeah, I'm going to be going over some stuff about what that could possibly be in a later video. But that's really all that I had to say today. Uh, I just want to go over a couple of things about these before the, the bigger video coming later. So yep, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.